This is a fan-based parody. Star Wars is owned by Disney. Please support the official release. Welcome to Weekend Star Warriors. Minban? I've never even heard of Minban. No one has. And it is steadily growling at the three of you. I growl right the f*** back. How do you wish to punctuate your entrance? I am sufficiently intimidated. We take this moment and shoot the shit out of all of them. Yeah. I'm gonna go look at that pile over there. <laughs> pile! <laughs> you wanna sleep on it? No, I want to poke it. I sit down with you two for two seconds, and now I'm involved. I just want to point that out. Okay. <laughs> I'll blow a motherfucker's head off now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yay, me! Pull out your bowcaster. I have issues. Last time on Weekend Star Warriors. Control of the ship Carrion was finally wrested from the slavers as Liliana led an assault on the bridge. While there, the Ugnaught engineer Squeak accessed the ship's controls and found that he could, with a single press of a button, wipe out the remaining slavers. To do so would vent them out into space, but would also cause all the slaves still in their cells to suffocate. Upon hearing this, McClaw chose the more difficult path of killing the slavers up close and personal. The final battle is upon us in this, the concluding episode of the Carrion Campaign. All right, I the... coordinate with my Wookiee brethren. Can you free all the prisoners so maybe they can help us? He hits a button. Done. All right. <laughs> he undoes the locks and uh, types a little bit, presses a button and grabs a microphone and hands it over to you. He shows on the screen all of the remaining prisoners stepping out of their cells looking very confused and a little trepidatious, timid, whatever you have. Mm -hmm. Hello, all former prisoners. We have taken over the ship. We are uh, others who have been enslaved and are now not enslaved. We are taking over this ship and we are going to defeat the rest of the lizard people that have tried to enslave us. All of you that can fight, get ready to fight. If you could find your way to the armory, we have broken up some, some of those uh, crates to, for some weapons. They look confused and they start arguing with each other. Make a leadership check. <laughs> Fourteen. One or two are peeking out, looking into the hallway, but none of them are actually leaving just yet. They seem to be a little afraid. I speak again. We have defeated almost all of the lizard people. There are only... How many left? Thirteen. There are only thirteen left. There are thirteen of us that are freed and are battle ready. If we, if we join forces, I am sure we can defeat the rest of these little lizard slaver people who didn't believe that I was... Never mind. Let's rally together! And that is a... Eight. <sighs> can I have a damage? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a damage. Actually, I go take the mic and I tell them... <laughs> Move to the bridge now! <laughs> Can I roll my new chip? Yes. <laughs> 19 okay. plus 2 is 21. 21? <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to ask you a question, but there's no sound. One of them is a little smarter than the others. He points at the door, looks up at the camera, and then points left or right as to which way do I go. Ah, I ask our guide. <laughs> Based off of where we see them, which way do they gotta go to get to us? They all go left. Left. <laughs> <laughs> Keep giving them directions. Okay, I will, I will. So, I take the guy off. Mm -hmm. I leave him with you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You will give her directions to get them here. Okay. I'm gonna get my hunting party. We're gonna go get the rest. Okay. Which way would you like to go? Would straight down the hall again in order to try and take all of them out? Or would you like to sneak up behind them? We're going to go from behind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Element of surprise. Yeah. And one of them is still bleeding though, right? Yeah, one of them is bleeding right. back there. So you can definitely smell him. Good. So we go off. The Ugnaught's going to make another check for something. So you go off. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the Wookiees who can shoot with me. So mm -hmm. you have the others... I have everybody else. You have somebody else with you. Yeah. So you got coverage. Mm -hmm. Everyone is rushing down the hallway, and let's see how far they get. 
Let's say there's probably about, eh, let's go with 14, because I rolled that. (laughs) (laughs) A number! (laughs) Okay, so they rush down the hall. The Trandoshans come out of the armory, all armed with extra E11s. Okay. Extra guns, one of them even carrying one of those tripod mount blasters. Mm Mm-hmm. And they are going to open fire on the fleeing slaves. Only one of their guns jams, and 13 of them get hit. (laughs) Oh, jeez. Of the 14, 13. They're they're still alive, they're just (laughs) hurt. hurt. (laughs) Let's just say three of them are dead now. Okay. The rest of them are severely wounded, uh-huh. and let's see if they manage to make it around the corner. Okay, the rest of them manage to make it around the corner. So three dead? Yep, three dead. Would you care to rush down? Am I close to where they're at so I can get them from behind? Go ahead and roll for agility. Thirteen. While you're halfway down, you hear the shots and screaming of the slaves. You are emboldened to rush even further, so go ahead and roll again. Seventeen. You make it all the way to all the way back. You can either come out the hole that was the cell, uh-huh. and then go into the armory that way, or possibly come through the hatch, or both. The hatch you can only go one at a time. The hole you can go about three or four at a time. Mm-hmm. You go three or four. You all come up through the hole. Mm-hmm. Guns blazing. Sure, guns blazing. <laughs> Roll to hit, right? Yeah. Crit. I got a three. <laughs> okay, uh, three crits. Oh, three crits there? Yeah. Three crits for the Wookiees. Now for damage. 16 damage. I don't want somebody dead. Okay, we got 10 damage on one, eight damage on another. Two of the Trandoshans are dead immediately because they were blasted completely. Excellent. And let's see the one that you're aiming at. How much? I did 16 damage. 16 damage. Okay, he's dead too. Yay! <laughs> so bites the dust, and another one. <laughs> so that's uh, that's three dead and three left. In addition to however many I said were out in the hall. All right. You've only got ten left. Yep. And now the three survivors inside are going to fire back. Fire back. <laughs> okay, they hit. That's unfortunate. That's a six, six, six. Oh! 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 Uh, you take six damage, and so do two of your Wookiee friends. Now, it's up to the ones in the hallway to see if they perceive that someone's behind them, since they are currently shooting and might not hear it. They hear it. Yeah. They rolled a 19. They turn, and they open fire. There's five of them. Although, they might hit the three that remain. Oh, okay. The ones in the middle are caught in the crossfire? Yes. Okay. Okay, anything less than four, they hit their own guys. Three of them hit their own guys. Let's see how much damage they do to their own guys. Well, one of them is dead. The other two are wounded. And the two who succeeded on their hits make two and six damage to whoever one is. And five. One of them is down. No! Dead or down? Down. No. Not quite dead yet. Okay. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Alright, they lost one in the crossfire. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now I'm gonna roll for another thing. The one with the huge tripod is going to try to lug it in, mm-hmm. and the door slams and cuts him in half. Oh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I did that. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so uh, let's say two are still outside. Okay. You've got four people inside. <laughs> okay. Four enemies inside. Uh huh. And two outside. Outside. Okay. Would you care to open fire? Yes. <laughs> okay. A lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, you've got three guys now, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Crit. Crit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Ooh. That's the damage on a crit. So that's <laughs> 10, 20. 20. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I take it you want to aim for the healthiest looking one. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to describe what you do to this particular individual? I shoot him in the f***ing face! Okay. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> nice and sweet to the point. Sweet and clean. And another one shoots another for 10. He is dead. And then the other two shoot for two and four damage. There's one guy left. Okay. We'll just say that. He's going to roll for bravery. Mm-hmm. 
He manages to stay brave or stupid enough to fire. Two, and I believe that's your... Yeah. He does hit you, but it doesn't do any damage. It just smashes into your <laughs> Stormtrooper armor, and that stuff melts away and falls. Bastard, so I take it off. And it's still molten. It's still hot. I get angry. Okay. <laughs> that's all this Wookie knows how to do. <laughs> how far is he from me? I'd say he's only about 20 feet. Okay, so he's within point blank. You could rush and uh, okay. go point blank. I'm actually going to cut him up. Okay. So, you can switch to your uh, Reek Blade and I, rush at him. I'm going to rush at him. Okay. Oh, that's a crit. That's a four for a crit, and I rolled a five. Okay. And uh, go ahead and roll for damage. Six. <laughs> so that's 12. You slice him straight across the middle, Darth Maul style. <laughs> and then I do a fancy pose. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He no, just... falls to the ground, and he is going to roll for constitution or willpower. Nine! He passes out from blood loss. Yes. Okay. So there's two outside. There's two outside. Would you care to open the door right away, or would you like to give some orders to your troops? I'm going to give orders to my troops. Okay, and hold on, something else. Two of the Mon Cal manage to join you. They show up, they are a little shocked to see that there are a lot of uh, guts <laughs> and such. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They look at you for orders. Up against the wall, we're gonna try to go around the corner. I'm gonna try to blind fire if I need to. We're all stacked up against the wall, close to the door entrance, and we're gonna get ready to blast these fools. We know that there's at least two, right? Yep. Okay, so we saw the door closed and everything. So yeah, we're getting ready. Are any of them bleeding? Do I smell blood? Mm -mm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Door opens. Door opens. They're gone. They booked it, huh? They booked it. Mm. But you can smell their scent. You can tell that they went down a corridor you haven't been. Mm. Okay, we stalk them. We, go, we slowly approach. We start moving, following the scent. Okay. Weapons ready. You follow the scent. You hear them scrabbling around the next bend. Mm -hmm. What so do you do? A hole. Okay. Move up against the wall. Mm -hmm. I try to pick up and see how many how many I hear. There's only two. Okay, there's two. Do they sound like they're fighting with each other or trying to figure something out? Sounds like they're arguing over something and you hear a lot of scraping on metal for some reason. Probably trying to get in or out or trying to hide from them. I peek. They are both pushing each other out of the way, trying to get into an escape pod. So I shoot! Four! And the crit is a three. What do you know? It's a crit. I rolled a zero, so that's ten. <laughs> On a crit, that's twenty. Okay! Uh, where do you want to aim this one? In the back of the head! <laughs> okay. One of them gets shot right in the back of the head. His face explodes outwards, <laughs> covering the other one in blood. Yay! Is he blind? <laughs> no, they're used to having blood in their eyes. Okay. He is uh, very, very scared, and suddenly a door slams right in front of you, separating you from them. Oh! Then you hear over the intercom, Liliana informing you. Uh, a Wookiee man, the, the pig person says that he can release the remaining lizard people because they are in an enclosed space and it won't harm anybody else. Or you can kill them if you want. I look at a camera. How many? Just one. Open. <laughs> okay, the door slides open. And I go in for my hunt. Let's see, I'm going to roll for, you guessed it. Yes, he shits himself. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> and how do you want to finish him? I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to make it easy. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't crit! You... And I missed. <laughs> Your gun jams. Oh. Damn it. And how far is he from me? Very close. Okay. Like 10 feet or less. I'm just going to go use my hands on him now. Okay. So I'm going to beat him down. Okay, uh, he is... His strain is completely gone. He is bloodied and bruised. I still beat on him. Okay. <laughs> you hit him again and again, and one of your hits finally spins his head all the way around. Lovely. 
take his carcass and I slam it up against the wall. And after a very long night, you have finally killed all of them. Yay! Hurrah! Now <laughs> comes the less violent part. <laughs> the less violent part. <laughs> Deciding what to do. Do you want to clean up the bodies right away? Decide on where you want to go? I say we loot these f***ers. Oh, okay. We supply ourselves. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, there were about 30 of them, yeah. and you'd already killed about six. We looted six. <laughs> yeah, looted six. You still have uh, Tiny Tim. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I put Tiny Tim back on. <laughs> Come here, boy! So you all go back to the bridge and meet uh-huh. up. Where's a D100? Okay, let's say whatever this is times three. You get uh, 75 times three. You can probably split it uh, among yourselves and the slaves if you want, or you can keep it for yourselves. But they did help. They did. Yeah, well, I most of them. I, I don't need any more. You can give it up to the rest of the people that helped us. All right. Let's heal everybody first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's say that you take a long rest, mm-hmm. although you might want to find a way to take care of the corpses. Perhaps the people who haven't been hurt at all can load them into the airlock. Okay, and then just dump them out. Unless you want to keep certain parts of them. Well, hmm. Yeah, I think while we were looting, I was ripping off heads and with spines. Mm-hmm. Spines for the ones that... You yeah. don't have enough of a yeah, skull. So. <laughs> do you want to roll for how many uh, skulls you've managed to get? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to roll? A, de- uh, a d20. d20. Actually, a d20? no. no uh, let's say d100 just to see if you manage. Just man- for ha-has? Yeah, just for ha-has. All right. 33. Okay, that's too many. Let's say 23. You get 23 <laughs> skulls. Damn, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> So carrying on a big old bag. <laughs> like, right now, the... you've got the heads of them at least. Mm-hmm. I'll clean them out later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we heal everybody. Okay, you take a long rest. Mm-hmm. Everyone recovers your hit points. Now, who do you want to designate for corpse duty for cleaning <laughs> up the rest? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I thought so. <laughs> what you have did, they done? You did nothing. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> All of them, or just the two males? All of them that didn't do anything. Wait, there's there's like 30 corpses. That's a lot. Yeah. I think everyone should just help out. Okay. <laughs> You're nice. It's just like, come on. Except for the people who are severely injured. They get uh, to rest right away. Obviously, yes, obviously. They, they get to rest right away. Every able-bodied person <laughs> grab a f***ing corpse. Okay, uh, let's just say for the sake of brevity, everyone takes a long rest, you clean up the entire slaver ship, there's still a bit of a smell of Trandoshan, both their outsides and their insides. (laughs) Oddly enough, their outsides smelled worse. Hmm, is it an improvement? Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) In the meantime, the Ugnaught has been trying to repair the various holes, at least the big ones, Mm -hmm. the ones that affect the performance of the ship. He has found that the hyperdrive is somewhat damaged, so your range is a little limited as to where you can go. Suggestion. Since my craft is attached to this craft because of the boarding action, Mm -hmm. is there any possible way we can try to use the parts of the other hyperdrive to fix this hyperdrive? Uh, your craft didn't have a hyperdrive. Oh, man, mine was just a battery ram. (laughs) Yeah, it was known as a Drock ship. Okay. It it was used back during Clone Wars by the Separatists to stab into enemy fighters and board. Okay. Or not fighters, enemy capital ships. Well, you do have a couple options of uh, nearby planets to get to. What kind of planet are you looking for? I know which one you're looking for, Liliana. Yes, uh, I, I want to go to Naboo. Uh, Is that close enough? Oh, let me see. It's about 27 parsecs away. We can only manage it in about three. Oh, okay. I guess I'll try to find a ship from whatever closest planet we can get to. Okay, so planets, planets, planets. Actually, make a roll for. Does either of you have lore about alien species? Nope. No. But <laughs> should we roll anyway? We might get a high number. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lady Luck. Nope. I've got 17. Oh, there you go. Okay. I got 11. 19. Okay, you know that your home planet, Kashyyyk, is very nice, but currently under occupation by the Empire, of course. I 
Ryloth, the home of the Twi'lix, is also currently under occupation by the Empire. Geonosis is uh, just a dead world. Apparently the Empire killed everyone there. Well, the Geonosis weren't nice to begin with. No. They put worms in people's brains. No! Oh, yeah, Camino is nearby, but uh, it really doesn't have much in the way of infrastructure anymore, ever since the cloning factories shut down. Shola, you have absolutely no idea. Both Nalhutta and Tatooine are controlled by the Huts, mm -hmm. who are notorious slavers, though a little more refined of slavers. They uh, don't rely entirely on it. They also rely on spice smuggling. So at the moment, your best bets would be either Tatooine, Bothawi, or Kamino. Oh wait, I haven't told you about Bothawi. Uh, that's where Bothans are from, and they are kind of sneaky and underhanded. Some say that they're leaning towards the rebellion, but you're not entirely sure. So yeah. Tatooine or Kamino? Water or no water? I'll leave it up to you, sir. Which one's more of the rebel friendly. Uh, neither one. Both are complete, almost completely ignored by the Empire. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, does either of them have, like, a trade route? Tatooine would be your better bet for that. Let's go to Tatooine! Although, you might have to be careful for the huts, because this might be their slave shipment. Oh. Mm -hmm. What was the other one? Kamino. That planet used to be the home of the Clone Masters during the Clone Wars. However, all of their science on how to make clones was destroyed in order to keep the Clone Wars from ever happening again. Alright. We go there. Let's go there. Alright. As I'm sipping on my blue juice. Mm. Mm. Actually, blue milk. Mm. Mm. So, you all make your way to Camino. Upon arriving there, you ask for repairs. The uh, Caminoans take a look at your ship and say, it would be cheaper to sell the ship for scrap, but if you wish, it will cost you about 5,000 credits. Ew, no, I don't think any of us have that. <laughs> I just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, if you wish to sell it for a scrap, we do have several shuttles going through, if you all wish to go to your own destinations. Oh, yes. I, yes, please. I would like to leave. Okay. We will give you um, 1,000 credits for the ship. Who wants it? Do you want it? I feel like you're the one who kind of commandeered it, really. I straight up took it! <laughs> <laughs> How much is passage to other places? Through the shuttles. About, uh, ten credits. Oh. Very well. We will trade. Well, it starts at ten credits for closer places. A hundred if you needed to go further. That's fine. You want to take the, uh, shipment of guns and such? Oh, uh, yeah, that's place. ours. Okay. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, I'm uh, an arms dealer! <laughs> <laughs> So you all uh, exit the ship, mm -hmm. and the Ugnat and Moncal come up to Maclaw and are very conspiratorial when they ask, Do you, uh, you mentioned something about the rebellion in the past. You wouldn't happen to be going to them, would you? I think they might need maybe my help, so I'm looking for them, yes. I, uh, I may have some leads. If, uh, if you would take, uh, us with you, we may have some leads as to where they might be. And, uh, I feel that they could use a pilot like myself and a mechanic like my little pig friend here. Mm. So, if it's all right, we would like to travel with you. <clears throat> Very well. Now, Liliana, you have a choice to make here. Mm. It's a difficult choice. You are still an imperial citizen, though you don't right. really want to talk that much about it. No. What would you like to do? I, I would like to try and find a shuttle that goes as close to Naboo as possible. Okay. In that case, they can probably arrange something for you. You could possibly make it as close to Naboo as uh, either Tatooine or Nalhata and barter passage to Naboo from there. I think I'll do that. Oh, I never caught your name. What is your name, just in case we run into each other? McClaw. McClaw. It was a great doing business with you. <laughs> it was a pleasure for you to be in my hunting party. Oh, great. <laughs> well, uh, I, I'll see you if I ever see you again. Here, before you go, take this. I handed 250 credits. 
Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> so that should help you get around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you want to part ways? Well, that, that was just... I can't believe that happened to me. <laughs> I... Uh, you are quite a strong warrior. I, I really admire you for your strength and just your overall demeanor. It's quite inspiring. I hope we do meet again. Especially if I'm ever in danger, as I was today. We might be lucky to meet again. All right. Uh, good luck on your travels. Thank you, too. Oh, I have the little... What's his name? The, yeah. Or the, 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 uh... We'll call him Tiny Tim. All right, we got, I got Tiny Tim with me still. He's coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe get him some new way. <laughs> okay. So, as the sun makes its brief appearance through the clouds for all of its uh, five minutes. So you part ways going off to diverging ship platforms and make your way to your own expansive adventure in the Star Wars galaxy. And that is where we will end our night. Oh, Wonderful. Hi. I smashed faces! <laughs> <laughs> I am your host and Game Master, John Ike. Star Wars was created by George Lucas and is owned by Disney. This game follows the basic rules of the Edge of the Empire role-playing game, and rule books are available for sale wherever books are still sold. Liliana Emerald was played by Megan Cordero. You can follow her on Instagram at Meganda88. McClaw was played by Edgar Cuevas. Music by Megan Cordero. Effects by Jeffrey Gardner. Special thanks to Mike Christensen and Marisa Cuevas. Please like, subscribe, and review, and we will release the next episode in a couple of weeks. Thanks for listening, and remember, numbers mean nothing in a narrow passageway. The Trandoshans are right outside. Yay! <laughs> they How far? Point blank. Yay! <laughs> Man, I need to stop using shit so much. Now, who do you want to designate for corpse duty? That was kind of enthralling. I'm sorry, I will have to call your mother right away. I will have her. Oh, no, 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 don't call I didn't even think that would work. I think you think you sound like this, but really you sound like this. Oh, I- I want to yell too! (laughs) Crit! Crit! (laughs) Hurrah! Just eat it, dick! Huzzah! He drops his gun and holds his hands up, surrendering. Too bad, I'm gonna shoot him. (laughs) Alright. Ruthless! (laughs) Smash his fucking face! I have issues. So I fart as I walk (laughs) (laughs) It's in my mouth! Oh, no. oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 <laughs>